All right, it's Monday in July, and we're here at the Linville Gorge Wilderness in the Pisgah National Forest, and gonna be setting off on a four day, three night trek, about 25 miles, we're gonna do the entire loop, and um, we're gonna get rained on again, probably, because we can't seem to ever go backpacking without there being any rain. Well, we can't plan around the weather. That's very true. We plan around child care. We and plan around child So and... shout out to the grandparents for giving us a few days to go and do this. And uh, yeah, so we're ready to go. We've got our packs on and I hope everything. We probably overpacked. My pack is way too heavy, <laughs> but it's all right. We like luxuries. We have like, but we do the, uh, like the, um, the really light luxuries though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just when you have a lot of them. New chairs. We bought some new chairs. Really excited about that. They're <laughs> ultra light, but they're chairs. Yeah. So no more sitting on logs and stools that break within the first couple of hours of having them. <laughs> Maybe these will last longer. <laughs> We're going to see some water. The weather is freaking beautiful. It's like 71 degrees right now. It's Pretty 11 o'clock. Um, you know, the rain obviously overcast is making it feel nice and we're getting like a little break of days here where it's just not that hot before it gets back up into the nineties again later this week. So it's really nice outside. Hopefully we make for a nice couple of days and we'll try to avoid the lightning strikes. But I learned this really cool thing. I'm calling it the, the frog in front of a loudspeaker. <laughs> I'll put a picture up and you can understand there's a position you're supposed to get into if you uh, think you're being <laughs> struck by lightning. Is that what they said? Mm -hmm. Like if you you think you're being struck by lightning, like what do you know if you're <laughs> being struck by lightning? Up. Is it, Oh, they start standing up yeah. like ahead of time? Yeah. Like as it's getting ready to come yeah, towards you? Yeah, you have like this a minute warning. Frog in front of a loudspeaker. Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. Okay, so we're about a mile in and it's become very apparent very quickly that we are out of shape and it's been a while since we've hiked. Um, I think we said that last time. We did say that last time. We probably <laughs> should do more to stay in shape between these, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. But we're making progress. We're already moving faster than the sign says we should be moving at. So that's positive. Where are we? We're like 1.3 miles in on Short Off Mountain. Heading up to, Heading the, up to the, chimney. the chimneys. And the chimneys apparently are going to be, I mean, there's no switchbacks. So it's literally just a, a, a climb straight up, about 1,600 feet, if I read it correctly. Anyways, um, right now we're switchbacking. We're coming up the side. We've gone into some more uh, wooded areas. We've had this great view uh, the whole way up so far. And so we've, we've kind of stopped periodically to look and just take quick breathers and make sure we're getting warmed up. So anyways, um, we have a water stop at some point soon, it'll be Probably the only, mile and a half. yeah, this will be the only water that we have today. And so we are kind of just drinking as much water as possible, knowing that we'll be able to refill those, but also knowing too, that we have to do the chimneys um, and get to a campsite with no, there won't be any water for the rest of the evening beyond that point. So anyways, we're chugging water. We'll probably down as much as we can, just refill them at the next water spot and then try to ration it for the next, um, you know, a little bit. So as long as we can stay hydrated now, we'll be all right. So. It's nice, it's beautiful. There's a breeze blowing, it's overcast. Um, it's not very hot. I'm sweating like crazy. Uh, but when the breeze blows through, it feels kind of nice. So onward, here we go.
we had read about how difficult the trek up to the chimneys is. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Especially since you're winding through just nothing but just thick overgrown brush. Um, it's, it has rained. It is currently kind of raining. Everything is soaked. Um, so like you're just walking through, everything's just drenching wet. So like I'm soaked, but it's not because of the rain. It's because of all the freaking bushes that I'm walking through. But we did put our rain slips on our packs to keep those nice and dry. I think we're about a half mile away from a potential campsite. It's only about another half mile. <laughs> no, it's Where over. have I heard that this before? This one's really over a half mile. This is like seven tenths until the campsite. I don't want to go uphill anymore. All right, we made it to camp and got everything set up. <clears throat> so this is where we are uh, put our tent for tonight. Nice area there with some grass. Uh, very flat. Um, it's been raining off and on, but everything is super dry, uh, especially since we had the tent set up. We were able to get all of our sleeping gear and put our packs in the vestibule. Um, this is uh, where we would do a fire normally, but I just highly doubt with as wet as things are that anything's going to burn. Um, but <clears throat> we also were able to set up a spot where we could hang out over here and put a tarp up. There's another fire pit over in this area and we have this incredible view from this point so we just started cooking some dinner we're gonna have one of those mountain house meals tonight but yeah we're just sitting here inside of our little hut with our brand new chairs which are incredible <laughs> worth every penny of having a freaking chair out here we put our uh rain that was a picture, no, that's not a picture. <laughs> We put our rain suits on uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's raining a little bit. But uh, number two, it's cooled off more than uh, we thought it was going to. Plus, we were a little bit damp. So right now, it's just for a little bit of extra warmth. But uh, I'm still cool. Well, that's because your hair is wet. I'm still cool. We've had a lot of these meals. And almost all of them have been absolutely disgusting. This one's good. I like this one a lot. What do you think? Yeah. I'm sure there's more. Good flavors. <laughs> actual food in the ingredients. Nice job, Alpine Air. All right, it's uh, Tuesday morning. Um, weather is gorgeous. We didn't do any videos this morning. We just really wanted to enjoy camp. Made some coffee, had some breakfast, got camp torn down. It's about nine o'clock right now, so we took our time. Um, we are hiking up to... Table Rock. Table Rock, right. So two miles-ish, maybe a little under. Um, today may not be a long day. Um, uh, the least amount would be about two and a half miles most would be maybe four four and a half um just because we don't we don't want to go all the way down into the gorge yet uh so we might just enjoy ourselves today taking the views maybe have another cup of coffee at the table rock yeah <laughs> um but yeah we're packed up and we're ready to go
stopped here at uh, this parking lot. There was a bathroom, which was nice. I mean, it's, it was a privy. It's just a hole in the ground. There's no water or anything, but it was good to have that. I'm not a big fan of going in the woods. Uh, <laughs> it's not my favorite. Peeing in the woods is fantastic. Greatest thing ever. Like, it's just a freeing feeling. I like standing on the edge of the cliff and just let it go. That's probably too much information. Oh like, I feel like this sign up here, when it says know what to do if you see a bear, it says karate. This is what the picture says. Do you think that that means run? No, stand still. Show me what you're looking at. <laughs> know what to do if you see a bear. If you see a bear before it notices you, stand still. Don't approach. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment. I did. Remember that time that I peed you and did. the bear walked right in front of me? You did. Back to peeing again. Back to peeing again. But I I would take this to say that if you see a bear before it notices you, stand still and do karate. <laughs> I like that plan. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I was, I was presenting, presenting the sign. Is the whole trail done? Maybe. <laughs> I know, like, a, a huge portion. They had, like, two more sections to connect, but COVID happened. Hey, I bet you won't go get in that tree and look at me through that hole. But you're right. But you're <laughs> right. You can do it. Nah. There's a little salamander right there. Right hard, you, hard pass. Less traveled one. Yeah, see, this is the campsite, Alex. See this it? is it here. Yeah. So this would have been your campsite. Wow. So I guess this is the campsite that we we're gonna try to get to last night. It would have been impossible, there was just no way. Um, but this is nice though. I mean, you're sitting on the edge of a tabletop here with borderline 360 degrees of mountain range. What is that, the tent spot? Once we get blown off the friggin' mountain. That is a nice spot though. Yeah, that's the tent spot right there. No? There's a, there's a lead spot. Ooh, I can do it. Maybe if I hold your hand. There is a ledge walk. Yeah, I haven't taken that off yet. That's dumb, huh? And eventually, either today or tomorrow, we will be down at the river. Following that, we have to do a river crossing at some point, which I think is going to be somewhat challenging because the water is very high. So it may take us a while to seek out the place that we're going to do that at. So this is amazing. Is that what used to be the bridge? Yep. All right, we got to the river. Nice. <laughs> so this is what used to be the bridge to get you all the way across to the other side. Uh, it does not exist anymore. We're it's going swimming. Comple completely collapsed. So the only way to get across is through the water. Um, it looks like there's some rock crossing right up there, sweetie.
legs are getting wobbly. Yeah, right there. Can't we cross right there? Those are pointed. And then how are you going to get there when you get done? Alex is figuring out how we are going to cross. We don't want any of our stuff to get wet. So I did bring a trash bag to put it in. And we have some rope if we need to string some stuff up. Or we'll just go swim in for a little bit. He doesn't look like it's passable by rock hopping. Hey, we did it. It took us at least an hour, right? It was like an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Uh, hold on, I'll show you what we did. So we started, we started from here. We came across here. We went across this area right here. Straight drop off uh, waterfall. Came over to this rock right here, crossed across a flat rock right here, but still right by a waterfall, so pretty good current. And then we're able to get up on this rock, come this way, came across here to this one, to this one, to this one, down to here, and made the leap of faith from there to there. Now, for those of you who are thinking that doesn't look hard at all, you have no idea until you're next to it. It took us a long time. We had to take packs off, I had to get across, we had to find a way to need to kind of straddle the sides to pull it across but we freaking did it man we conquered the river let's get to camp all right we have found our campsite for tonight check it out got a fire ring right here on the edge of the rocks so we will be making a fire tonight we're gonna sleep kind of under this overhang this uh cave cliff whatever Super sweet little area here, a little campsite down at the bottom of this river. But uh, we're gonna go over there in a few minutes because I think that the view from that, that direction, there's a waterfall right here. You can't see it yet, but stand by. All right, from the other side. Got a great view here of a waterfall. This is our camp right here. But we have this place and we're the only, it's the only campsite right here. So we have this whole place to ourselves. This whole river at the bottom. There it is. It wasn't me this time. No, this was totally my fault. We chose to keep going. Uh, it was a nice campsite but there was something I didn't like about it. And so we went to try to find another one. And at this point, I think we've gone another two miles already. So. Well, good morning from the campsite. We didn't get much video uh, last night. I think we were just absolutely exhausted. Um, we ended up what was supposed to be a maybe two and a half to three mile day turned into we went 10 miles. Um, and we kept coming to campsites and I know like we found one, we set up, it was all good. But we kept coming to campsites and we were like, I just, we felt like we just needed to go further. We just didn't feel like it was the right spot. And so then we went on about a four mile trek where it was campsite after campsite after campsite that all just like, it wasn't anywhere near the river. It was like up in the woods. And like, we went for probably four miles of just straight roller coasters, just up, down, up, down. It was exhausting. Like, I think I collapsed when we got to camp last night. And so we set up camp and uh, hung out by the river for a few minutes and went to bed somewhat early. So nothing exciting, but I did want to show you uh, camp really fast um, and kind of where we ended up last night. All right, so this is where we put the tent and we are right next to the river. And so we have this great spot down here where we were able to hang out. Um, this is where we had some coffee this morning um, to watch the river. 
And then there's a beach area down there. I'll, I'll go down there in a few minutes uh, that we went swimming when we first got back just to cool our bodies down, which was amazing. Um, but yeah, and then back over here, it's a pretty big spot. We had to kind of crawl through the woods to get down here. Uh, I mean, you, you would have missed the trail to come down if you weren't actively looking for it. Um, <clears throat> but it's got a fire pit here, which uh, surprise, surprise, no fire last night. Everything's soaking wet. I don't think we've ever been backpacking ever where we were able to have an actual fire. Uh, it's just always been raining and wet. Um, there's, I think, two sites here because I think there's there's another fire pit here and there's uh, more spots. Looks like you could probably put at least, I don't know, five or six tents in this area. So this would be a good uh, group spot. Um, it's a really nice campsite. And we got way further down the trail than uh, we were thinking that we were going to. So anyways, um, the plan this morning, uh, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's around 8.30. Uh, plan this morning is we're going to break down camp and um, we're going to get packed up. We think that we are in the neighborhood of another eight to nine miles ish uh, for the whole the whole thing. And so we have all day today and then tomorrow to hike back out. And so I think that um, we have like a two mile hike to a spot that Brittany was wanting to get to. It's actually funny enough. It's the spot that we were supposed to camp tonight, um, which is we like I said, we blazed past our initial um, you know, what we were trying to get out for yesterday. Uh, so we, we went way past that. And so now we're at this spot where we're two miles away from, it might be less than that. Actually, we're two miles away from where we're heading to the next camp. Um, and there's a spot there where we're hoping that maybe we can, uh, just kind of hang out, maybe have another cup of coffee, relax a little bit. Um, the plan today is to go somewhere in the neighborhood of six miles ish. Um, there's some other campsites down further that we're going to go. So past where we were going to stay tonight, we're going to obviously go further than that. That way we have, you know, a three, four ish mile hike out on uh, Thursday morning, which is going to be uphill. We have to get back up the mountain that we came in, and of course. So anyways, we're going to try to take that a little bit slow. I'm um, going to have some breakfast, break down camp and then uh, get back on the trail. Yesterday was freaking crazy. Absolutely nuts. The, the whole crossing the river, Ah, I wish I had that on video, man. But I mean, I, I'll try to break down the story at some point. But uh, that was that was absolutely crazy. And then sitting down by the river yesterday. Hang on, I'll take you down here. So this down here is the little beach area. <laughs> hey, how you like your new blanket? Brittany and her puffy blanket. It has a cape clip on it so she can just go about her day and it stays on. Anyways, so this is where we were hanging out last night um, down here by the beach where um, you can kind of see the river goes off that direction. Um, and then uh, there's some smaller rapids right here. But anyways, we're sitting here and right from this direction right here, just literally, I mean, it couldn't have been 10 feet off the water just right through here right in front of our faces a, a bald eagle it was the craziest like we i felt paralyzed i felt like i couldn't breathe the entire situation didn't have my phone didn't have any camera it didn't matter anyways i wouldn't have known what to do it was one of the coolest experiences i've ever had just seen it was a big guy too big bald eagle just comes right through this area right here uh that was amazing so yesterday was a really great day today's gonna be awesome too So we're, this part sucks, man. We're going up a really steep elevation. Um, it's basically 300 feet straight up, just straight up. But as I catch my breath for a minute, check this out. 
we were up there at one point. here at the camp for a little bit now we ended up hiking around eight miles today probably more than we thought we were going to there's a rope swing over there this is pretty cool we had this really nice beach area where we were able to go swimming but this is camp up here under this really awesome really really big tree this is camp this is where we're going to be hanging out tonight we're going to attempt to get a fire going in a few minutes Hopefully that goes better than the last two nights. And uh, just hang out over there and have some dinner. But yeah, this is where we'll be. We checked out where we have to cross the river in the morning. It's gonna be sketchy. Not looking forward to that. But uh, might go to bed a little early tonight, starting to feel it. Last night, this is always the worst part, just thinking about the next day. This makes it better. Oh, by the way, this stuff here is on point. Well done, backpacker's pantry. Super chill evening. Last day, tearing down camp. This is what every morning looks like. Pretty sitting in the tent, rolling up all of our stuff while I break down everything else. So, had a great fire last night, which was awesome. Some coffee this morning. And uh, just getting a little air on the tent top and drying out some clothes on the beach. <laughs> But uh, we have a river crossing this morning, which uh, there was a guy that came up uh, that lives close to here a few minutes ago and took us down and showed us exactly where to go across the river, which is awesome. Uh, it's going to be challenging. We're going to have to, um, I mean, it's, we're walking through the water, but, and the rocks are super slick, but we're going to have um, some sticks to help us and hopefully stay, uh, stay dry. Worst case scenario, if one of us goes in, it's the last day and we're a mile from the car ish mile ish um but yeah let's uh get the camp broke down and then we're going to attempt to cross the river so we can go home Just gotta jump. Oh, you're following me. I'm thinking about going to the beach and walking out. I, I'm just scared there's a big hole and I dropped the rock to make sure there was no snakes right here. And a bunch of fish came out. Would a snake be underwater like that? Alright, we made it into the water. Don't lose your sunglasses. Yeah, it's all gone. <laughs> it's just I don't know what's coming next. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I made it this far. Thank 
paddle above it? Yeah. Are you going to help me up right here? Yeah, toss your sunglasses. Are you going to help me up? Though? Yeah, as soon as you get out there, I'll start walking. Okay. Or do you want to wait until I come around? Hold on, wait right there for a minute. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Ready? Yeah. This is going to be scary, so you got to be like... I got you. On me. Now what are you gonna do? You gotta help me. Alright, you should be good to stand up. I can't. Okay, I can. Good job. <laughs> I did it. And a rope. Okay. <laughs> well, How do I get up? Hold on. Huh? You gotta Jesus. I'm not bringing this back. I'm just You gotta do to enough it. to like push off with your foot so that you can get that right arm up higher because you need to really make it you need to make it up to that second knot where that thing is hanging down to have any hope of swinging out that you got to have to get your your hand there up there no mm -mm. okay nope i'm afraid you're just gonna splash into the water but there's only <laughs> one way to find out take if your I feet up i'm not bringing the rope back you're not doing this right or are you doing it no, you're not gonna try again huh I don't know. I think I'm just going to panic and end up swimming to you. Okay. I don't think you're going to go anywhere. I think you're just going to flop into the water. I can't get up that tree. That, now you're messing with my height. And this is already... See? Yeah, you're just slipping. Yeah, that's not safe. If I plop right there, that was my first intention. Okay. It was just a little cannonball, a little splash. Okay. And then to get back up. All just right. say I did it. Pick your feet up. <laughs> oh, boy. Idea. Probably not. Don't use the tree. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ready? Swing out. <laughs> He's gonna jump. Swing out, then you'll go further. Just don't hit that other tree. Cause like this wasn't in the water until it was in the middle. Okay. Cool. Okay. You ready? I've been ready. Oh. <laughs> Do it. Ah! <laughs> Do you want it? Ah! <laughs> All right. So this is where we have to cross. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight through here, straight through here, over to where this green tree is, walk down those rocks right there, and then finish up crossing when we get out right here. Should be easy, right? I don't even know what you're talking about. We start the last leg of our trip. Last view of the river. We're getting ready to go up. Like, like really, really up. Brittany has just informed me. That's <clears throat> why I don't ask, that's why I don't navigate, is because it's better sometimes for me to find out later because I would psych myself out. We're currently at 1,300 feet. We have to climb to 3,000 in a mile. And I added an extra mile too this morning. Oh, right. To you. Yeah, we didn't know about the extra mile back down to the car. So we're going we up to go back down. We, we just forgot about it. All right, getting close to about halfway up. 
It's not horrible. Um, it's a gradual incline. Uh, I mean, we've had some pretty steep parts, but for a while now, it's just been this gradual incline. But I mean, just it's relentless. There's never a part that it ever plateaus. It's just you're just walking straight up. Um, and you're walking through just really thick shrubbery. Um, I mean, it's just like I'm wading through it. Uh, and so my ankles and my little side of my legs are getting tore up. Brittany's bleeding. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not horrible, but I'm ready to get, I'm ready to finish this up. We did it. We made it to the top. And holy crap, that was awful. Hey, look, I had this thing, put it on my forehead, tied it around it, sham well. No more freaking sweat on my forehead. Now just a short trip downhill. Might jog it. <laughs> I'm ready for the car, ready for air conditioning. Let's go. We did it. Back to the car. Made it down. What a trip, man. That was, a, that was incredible. That was without doubt the hardest uh, backpacking experience that we've had. Uh, the terrain, the elevation changes, all of the above was just wild. It's the worst part of the trip when you have to come back into reality, but I am looking forward to seeing my kids. Looking forward to some water that doesn't have to come through a squeeze filter. And I am hungry. What you gonna eat tonight, babe? What are you gonna eat tonight? I don't know. Why are you creeping on people's cars? Steak. Steak. Yeah, steak is good. Steak and potatoes. All the steak. There's a lot of people here. If we were the only car in this parking lot before, there's like 12 cars here. Oh well, see you next time.